Rich family, welcome to another episode of Underground Railroad Productions. This is your host, Brother Rich, Black Magic, out here with the Blue Pillar in Brooklyn. Yeah, we showing uh, the artwork. It's kind of late at night, family. We wanted a different vibe. Think big with the crown. We in Clinton Hills. Oh, you said Big live right up the block, right? Yeah, Big was from St. James. That's St. James right there, right? <clears throat> Putnam Avenue. Which is over there, that begins Best Star. So we're on the cusp, you know, between Best Star and Clinton Hill. Shout out to AA, shout out to Ashraf, shout out to Doggy, um, shout out to Tad, you know what I'm saying? All of the aforementioned are people that come from this hood, alright? Shout out to all of the Clinton, shout out to Ernie, shout out to the Clinton Hill family. Indeed, indeed, man. And on that note, man, I want to say thank you for everybody for supporting me on Patreon. I just uploaded a video with Red, Supernova, and Griff from Baltimore shout that Red sent me. Yeah, shout out to everybody that support on PayPal. Make sure you get the KTL app in the app store yeah, right know the now. Ledge. Know the ledge. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Got to talk to you. Me and, me and Blue just had two great segments. It's late right now. Just, just so the family know, give them like some back behind the scenes. It's 2 in the morning right now. So it's 2 in the morning. We've been out here since 12. Right. So on 9 11, I got my red, white, and blue on. Indeed, indeed. Damn. Can I ain't going to Patriot on y'all, but. Let uh, me see <laughs> if they can see the lights that. Um, hold up, family. Real quick. Let me just show you. You can see. I got, yeah. Uh, I seen you some footage. You see that light? That's the light that's going from the Freedom Tower. To the sky. Now we in Brooklyn. That's in Manhattan. But anywhere you at in New York, you can see that. You can see it from space. From space, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the light going from the Freedom Tower. Every 9/11, they yeah. do that. All 44 day. lights for each beam. 88 lights in total to commemorate what would be the 44th year of the World Trade Center if it was still up, and of course it was open on April 4th, 1973. So, yeah, that's a 44 resonator there. Indeed, indeed. So, Blue, there's a lot going on, my brother, uh, in terms of the hurricanes, Hurricane Irma, uh, other hurricanes as well. What was the first one that hit Houston? Harvey. Harvey. There was Harvey in Houston. Irma just hit Florida. Uh, my brother, Professor Griff, I was supposed to do a Griff tonight, show a Griff tonight, and his lights is out. He ain't got no no electricity, no yeah, lights. It's, it's, it's so, ravaging through yeah, Georgia. Atlanta. Yeah, so. Um, when I spoke to KT earlier, his lights was out. I spoke to Mama. She was good. You know what I'm saying? She said it started raining. Uh, so, you know, of course, we're sending our, our heartfelt um, warmth, you know what I'm saying, to the ATL family, to the family out in Georgia, and especially the family out in Florida, you know, who had to live through that. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. So Blue, talk to talk to me, man. We we come from the community where we know what well, we know about a community where there's a word called conspiracy theory. And everybody believes that a lot of people believe that when things like this happen, it's not man made. It's a it's a we heard about the machine harp or there's other weather mo weather modification systems. Yeah, they got a whole... What you think whole, about everything going on? Is this a sign a of Mother Nature rebelling? Or is this a sign of the government, uh, you know, creating something for their diabolical purposes? You know, um, we've been dialoguing about this for the last two weeks online. And I went to a ceremony this past weekend. And, you know, dealing with some sacred medicine. Blue, blue, blue. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. So, you know, I went to a ceremony this past weekend and I commune with what I would like to believe was, you know, spirit of Mother Nature. You know what I'm saying? Mother Nature spirit. If the earth is an animate object, if it's an animate being, it has spirit. And this particular entity relayed to me that, you know, this was personal, meaning that what we're seeing by way of the weather is Mother Nature. Now, to say or to argue about whether it's man-made or modified or what have you, what we have to understand is that climate change, right, or changes in the climate is based on man. So even if we attribute it to a man-made climate situation, that's still man-made, right? That is dealing with the follies of man, mismanagement 
of the mother. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we're dealing with weather modification, of course, they say man is mine. And they say that in our minds, we create all things. Our relationship with nature is everything. You know what I'm saying? The natures are the netters. So, man creates mankind. And then mankind creates machinery as an extension, as an external extension of mind because he's not internal, he's external. So even if we're looking at the machines, right, it still is a manifestation of mind. It still has to have some sort of connection, right, somehow to nature, okay? We would like to believe that even though man plans... As they say in the religion, they say, well, Allah is the best of planets. You know what I'm saying? So what can actually be done without the animating spirit of spirit? You know what I'm saying? Without the cosign. You know what I mean? Without the approval. Man always thinks he's getting away with things, but he always is going to work in the benefit of a bigger plan. So the spirit or God or the creator will just modify those plans to work in the favor of creator. Whether you see the outcome of that five or 10 or 15 years from now, because ultimately, right, with these storms or these, these situations or these, um, they might ultimately make, end up making America great again. They might ultimately end up making people work with one another. They might, end up making people see their humanity in one another. They might bring families together. You know what I'm saying? Of course, there are going to be some things destroyed. Of course, there are going to be some things that are severed. Of course, there's going to be some things that are fur further torn apart. But ultimately, we're talking about the ultimate outcome of these things. Because a lot of people are attributing it to eclipse energy. Well, eclipse energy is not something that's instantaneous. You're talking about a shadow that exists at least for six months to god damn it 60 years you feel me so who's to say what the outcome is you know what i mean what's evident is that our connection to nature is off period whether it's man-made machinery modified weather weaponry you know climate change whatever it is it's all going back to the fact that we have allowed somebody who was unqualified to be the manager of our mother. Would you allow Donald Trump to run a nursing home and you put your mom in it? Huh? That's tantamount to what's going on, you know, with us allowing these people to be in charge of nature, expecting them to have any sort of respect for her. Hell no that they won't. What, she, what they did to your mama on the plantations is exactly what they're going to do to this planet. All right? So, if you are so uncomfortable, if you're so discomforted, because us constantly saying it's heart, or it's this weather modification, or that, is that what, what are you going to do about it? What can you possibly do about it but complain and sit there and always be the victim? You're always at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You're always the, the, the victim of somebody's diabolical plan to remove you from your whatever. Like, at what point do you see your connection to the situation? Right? It's very, very, very um, dangerous to throw away your power every chance you get. Even if nature seems to be so magnanimous that you can't picture yourself having a personal relationship with nature or interceding or intersecting in any way where you're able to move these particular situations to say, look, I don't want it to hit Miami. Let that shit go to the West. All right. I don't want it to destroy Cuba. I don't want it to destroy Puerto Rico. Let it just skim it. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't know to pray for Barbuba. <laughs> no disrespect I'm just saying These are the things that unfortunately Are taking place You know what I mean But Even with these These situations with these These smaller islands that have been ravished We are allowing Once again colonizers To manage the lives of our people And we're seeing rampant mismanagement Why wouldn't it be Okay Only thing that they see is property You see people They see property you understand? So 
we have to, once again, if you're so uncomfortable about what you're seeing, we have to be the ones to say, look, the possibilities for a new earth is amongst us because we're seeing earth go through changes that are incredible. All right. So there's going to be new upheavals. There's going to be new things that come out of this. What are your plans for this new world? What are your plans for this new earth? How would you do things different? You know what I'm saying? Can you govern where you're at? Because mentally you want to govern all these other places. You want to save the people in Barbuba and you want to save the people in the Bahamas. You want to save all of these people. All right. But are you saving people in your own hood, your own community? You know what I'm saying? Are you opening your door? Y'all talking about Joel Osteen. Are you opening your door to families from Houston? All right. You opening your door to families from Miami? Just trying to get out of the path of destruction? Because they moving around the country already. I know family that's out west already. I got family that's coming up here already. You know what I'm saying? They definitely in the A. So they moving around. Humanity wise. Do we... Or are we, you know, is that part of humanity that has been dormant for so long in us, is it finally awaking to the particular place and point where we see that we're all we got? And what does that mean? What does it look like once you realize it? You feel me? What does it realize? What does it look like once you realize it? So, yeah, man, we, we, we got to, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we have to do better, you know. We have to show the earth that we care, okay? Because the earth is taking it personal. The earth is going through her purge. You understand? It has to be upheaval. Change is tumultuous. And that's what we're looking at. I was watching this interview with Bun B, and Bun B was saying that people down there in Houston weren't waiting on FEMA or Red Cross or anybody. He started crying. He said, yo, they're waiting on us to help. Yes. So it was kind of deep. Like, you know, you live in the, the you know, it, what it, they call it, the greatest it, country in the world. It hurt looking at But you're waiting for the rappers and the local people to come save you, you know. So that's kind of, that was kind of deep, man. I know you're going to be doing, a, you putting together um, uh, uh, a, a relief a, effort. A relief effort, yeah. Yes. For the family in the Caribbean, you know, my ancestral home of the Virgin Islands was devastated. Um my my people's birthplace, St. Croix, didn't get hit as much, but St. Thomas and St. John's got hit. Uh, and there are many other smaller islands that, that got ravished, you know what I'm saying? I keep pronouncing the, the name wrong, but, um, you know, the island that got 95% of it destroyed, they need help because they're a French colony and France is not coming to help, you know what I'm saying? France... Is going to send a boat come Tuesday. They're probably going to take three or four days to get there. And they're looking for property damage. Because a lot of these places were tax havens. They were places that people were sending, you know, millions and billions of dollars offshore. So they're going to grab the bread, the loot. Give me the loot. And they're going to get up out of there. They're going to throw some people, you know, on some Maria Antoinette. Feed them bread. Feed them cake. They're going to throw them a little bit. And then they're going to get up out of there. Can you walk around, brother? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, like Bumby said, we got to be there for our people. If these are your people, then you have you have a task. You have a burden on your back. You know what I'm saying? If these are not your people, then you need to marginalize what you call black and who you call your people and signal that shit down to your tribe and stick with that because ultimately soon come they gonna need your help too but you're not gonna be able to keep on doing this shifty ass fucking game that you're doing every chance you get oh nah that ain't my people and they ain't and they gotta nah, nah. no who can you help other than yourself that's what we at on this planet at this particular point who can you help other than yourself Okay, that's what it's going to come down to, you know, and the whole world want to know. So we look forward to, you know, getting that answer as well. Do you leave your contact info, brother? Blue Pillar 44 on IG. All right. We're going to post the information very soon about the uh, joint release effort that we're putting together. All right. No, no. Uh-uh. Peace, love and light. Peace, peace.